Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and beaver lovers out there. We are back mid facility getting ready to do some light off road action with some odd box match box trucks. Oh, yeah, it's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Ink Lube Proving Grounds Pebble Path Light Off Road Course, folks. And there they are, right there. We've got two hard tire, one rubber tire, and they're all freed from their really ugly packaging. Going to try out our light off road course, all coming up today on Beaverworks Diecast Racing. Vehicles. Matchbox 2021 Ford Bronco. From the 2024 Moving Parts series, there's four different versions and four different styles of packaging, including this one that you can mix into a salad after you're done, apparently. Great weight, got opening doors, and looks pretty good. Matchbox Toyota 4Runner. 14 version since 2010, this one representing 70 years of Matchbox with its own little box. And that's real cute. I used to own one of these things in real life back in the day. They're amazing. See how it does. Matchbox Ford Ranger Raptor. Six versions since 2020, including two in the worst packaging and die cast history. They really need to exercise the demon out of the company. I thought this was a good idea. Floppy hood and really neat wheels. Let's see how it does. This week, they're up against the Pebble Path. It is the light off-road course we have here at the Igloo Proven Grounds. 96 inches, 243 centimeters, or 8 feet of sand, logs, and they've got to get down to the bottom and on their wheels. Each vehicle will get two passes, and the fastest overall time wins. Right, 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 right. D-Man, in-house driver from Beaverworks, going to be taking that 2021 Ford Bronco. This is the one that came out of the salad box down on his first run. Let's see how it does. Down off the ramp, he's coming down, getting into the first corner, bouncing it around, getting some good speed down through the midsection, handling the deep stuff, no problem, over top of logs, and no, he's over on his side and just sticks his nose over top of the finish line. Okay, well, that counts, folks, because uh, they like it. This is a hard course to get over. You get down to the bottom, and even if it's only just by the nose, at a 10.01 time that's a really good time and uh kind of a kind of a sloppy performance there but still whatever works he is down and it made it over top of the finish line checking out the igloo replay you know what that thing's bouncing around it's probably uh looking really sharp it's got that short wheelbase not bad matchbox does great castings but the packaging well like i said that one was not easy to get into you need like a hammer and chisel and pliers and all sorts of stuff to get this thing out of that package it was the all cycled one but still down over top of the line sticks his nose over great performance ish out of the bronco 10.01 time for round one right right two, two. Igor, in-house driver, is going to be taking that Toyota 4Runner down for its first run. This one's got the real spiffy wheels on it. Look at that. He's the rubber tire entry this time. Down off the ramp, and he's coming around the first corner. It's bouncing around pretty good, getting some nice speed to that first section coming into the deep stuff. Gets a little slammed around coming onto the logs. That didn't look like it was any fun. Comes down over top of the line, 12.49. That's not a terrible time. He is uh, looking good down there, right on the bottom. Orange rims and that. That uh, Forerunner, Toyota Forerunner, I had one of these things back in the day, and I tell you, oh, I still have discs that are crushed in my back from putting this thing in the air. One of the most rigid vehicles I ever drove. Loved it. Check this thing out. Bouncing around. It had the roof that came off the top. Everything you can think of. Just a good, solid, trucky beat up until you uh, blow the engine after you dump river water in it for about two years. But other than that, it works pretty good. Coming down on the igloo replay, bouncing around on the low logs going back and forth that was a bad entry onto the logs needless to say just kind of got slammed all over the place still made it look excellent coming down over top of the finish line into the trap at the bottom there it is first run for the toyota 4runner on the uh pebble path 12.49 time run run three Dialed in, Daryl's getting ready to unleash that Raptor on the Pebble Path for his first run today. All right, checking it out up there on the ramp. And here he goes. He's down, getting into that first smooth stuff. And wow, they really made that hood kind of floppy on that uh, matchbox casting there. This is the one that came out of that worst package ever. And we had to make sure we freaked from that kind of tyranny. And here it is, flapping his hood all the way down over top of the finish line with an epic 15.83 time. Well, there's lots of room for improvement on that one. But 
still made it down to the bottom on its wheels. Couldn't keep that hood down. Kept the gate shut, but uh, just flapping all the way down there, wasn't it? All right. Checking out the Igloo replay. Now, let me tell you, folks, this is going to be an epic replay because that thing is just flopping down and must be too low or we've got the aggregate too high. But either way, made it down over top of the slide. No problem. Into the real deep stuff right there. And this is where we're thinking it's going to get all bound up. But no, it managed to make it through, even if it just took it forever. So maybe this gives me an extra minute here. Don't forget to check out the Beaver Works store, folks. You can uh, grab onto a shirt or something like that over there. We'd uh, really appreciate that. And all right, down over top of the logs, he finally made it through that rough spot, slamming that hood back and forth. And you can see it. It's, uh, that's uh, pretty entertaining coming down through there. Sounded great. Looked great. There it is. He at least made it down to the bottom with a 15.83 Ford Raptor. That wraps up round number one, bringing the Ford Bronco with a 10.01 time, gets the first place so far, followed by the Ford Runner, and then there's the Raptor. Check that out. That's one of our Hot Wheels premiums with the coated wheels. Pay attention to that, kids. All right. Beaverworks International. Well, there's the team back from Junkyard Joust. Custom Joust. This is the second mail-in tournament that they did. And uh, there's our heavyweight beaver muth. And it made it through that. Was able to roll back over onto his wheels. Pretty much unstoppable vehicle except for our own teammate. And that's a hazard that they got down there. And it was our own Agent Y that took out the big heavyweight. Now it's uh, pretty much the end of the team in the quarterfinal rounds and then we still had our beaver hammer went down and had a good performance and then they had this big weird cloud thing that was the one that took out agent Z. devastating little vehicle that was still nice and proud to be a part of that whole tournament and there's our team all back beat up and uh some are going to go back into rotation some are going to go over to shop get some improvements but still they're going to be ready for the next junkyard joust custom tournament go down to the channel check out the rest of their stuff don't forget to check out our stuff here as well. You hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And there's that super thanks option. We really like that. Ride by four. Moving along, it's the second run in the Ford Bronco. They check this thing out. This is a great looking casting with that short wheelbase. It's amazing how all these uh, new Broncos castings are coming out from all these different companies. Pretty much looking exactly the same there. Coming out of the uh, gate around the corner, bouncing back and forth, doing a nice run again, coming out of the logs, ripping down off the bottom end, but doing good, kept it on its wheels all the way over the line, except for the very end where he just had to flop it right in front of the camera. Right there, look at that. Made it down on his wheels, made it look all good there and for some reason just couldn't keep it stable at the end rolled it over like the puppy dog at the end they're looking for a belly scratch that uh not uncommon on any of these tracks okay checking out the igloo replay and made a little bit of a rough entrance to the track coming off the main ramp there but was able to straighten it back out we're using in-house drivers here so they've got experience coming down through the deep stuff was able to chew through that got some fishtails going on transitioning on the logs made it look easy in this thing coming down straight lines through the logs catches lots of speed makes it over top of the line and just looking just slamming on the brakes getting all stupid and silly at the end there and upside down it went Still excellent time. 11.84, a little slower than the first round, but still good. Right, right five. five. Igor, Bevor, thanks for that one, Mark's going to be taking that Toyota 4Runner down for its second try on the Pebble Path, let's see how it does, coming down off the ramp, doing good, this is the rubber tire 4Runner, loves this vehicle in real life, and there he is, flying down through the deep stuff, better transition onto the rocks this time, and Oh, come on, right in the middle of the logs. Just hit a little bump and tipped it up. It's going to be a DNF for the floor runner on the second shot. Look at that. Those rubber tires are pretty bouncy, and he just caught a weird edge halfway down the logs, and that did it. Over it went. That was uh, pretty disappointing. Kind of had some high hopes for this thing because, uh, I don't know, got attached to my old one. Either way, didn't make it down on the second run. Looked like he was coming down okay off the first curve, a little bit slow. We expected that from the first run. Looking for a little bit of an improvement on the time, and he had it. Coming down through the deep section there and the transition onto the logs looked really good and just traveling down the logs picking up some speed and boom caught an edge that was all it took that rigid suspension on there just kicked it up onto its side and you're not going any further when you're on your side apparently there it is dnf for the second run and the forerunner right, right, right. 
Second run for the Ford Ranger. We got dialed in Daryl getting ready to take this thing down again. See if we can get a little bit quicker than the last run. Could have had a picnic on the last run. See how this one goes. All right, down off the ramp. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that hood. Yeah, we got that flappity, flappity hood going on down there. See the deep stuff get sideways coming down off of the ramp there. Getting into the deep stuff there. Again and again, the transition on the logs just slowed him right up. But he's getting some, some good speed down off the end, but still... 18.51, my gosh, how was that longer than the last one? That was still, it made it look amazing. Something about those wheels or something, I haven't seen those kinds of wheels. Gonna have to look those things up. There's that hood flapping all the way down there. All right, Igloo Replay, kids, all right, here it comes. Down off the ramp, he's coming into the first corner. That thing is just slamming his hood, slamming the front end around there. Still negotiates that first corner, no problem. And then there's the drop off, get him through here, gets all silly and real sideways, and then through the deep stuff. This part takes the longest part right there. All right, I don't know. Just in case any of you are wondering when we're going to be doing our next mail-in tournament, I know we'd be kind of dragging our feet on that one, get some stuff wrapped up around here. Just letting you know it's going to be coming, and uh, make sure you pay attention to that jewelry car class video we did last. All right, coming down onto the logs, there's this Ford Rapper. He's... Plug it along, dialed in Daryl, making it look good, making it look okay. He's down over top of the line, finishing up right there with another epic 18.51, which is, like I said, like a storybook. It's like forever. Either way, gets it done, made it look good. That's going to wrap up this Matchbox Odd Box Pebble Path with the 2021 Ford Bronco coming in with the 10.01, taking first a Toyota 4Runner second, and then it's going to be the Ranger coming in third there it is right there that 2021 ford bronco that came in the environmentally friendly packaging at the beginning there and it was not easy to get into but the product at the end looks pretty good it performed pretty good and we had the forerunner with the rubber tires only making it down the one time and then the ranger raptor which was totally appreciate and getting released from that ugly package to come out here and race today don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps out the algorithm, folks. Let them know that you like what you see. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Pebble Path Odd Box Matchbox. Oh, yeah, a little unboxing short there. Oh, we had it all. Anyways, big Beaverworks shout out for all you good folks coming out here to check out our stuff from Beaverworks Diecast Racing. We will see you next time.